hello, hello. Is that Kakala? Thanks for joining us. This is Sharice Rome Nolson. Hello, Holducci, otherwise known as Jen. Nice to see you. If you guys can tap on the bottom right, you will make hearts, and that will bring other busy moms to our broadcast. I want to thank you guys so much for joining me for my very first scope. I really appreciate it. I have been watching scopes for a couple of days now, and I'm just so impressed with everybody who is putting themselves out there and trying this new format. It's very exciting. So um, what I wanted to talk about today was some fitness tips for busy moms. I personally am a very busy mom of a three-year-old and a five-year-old, and I really struggled to find a way to um, fit fitness into my life. So these are the things that helped me when I was first getting started, and I am going to turn the thing around so you can actually see me. Let's see, double tap to flip, here I am. Okay, can you guys all see me? If you can, can you give me some hearts so I know this is working? All right, so the first thing that I wanted to talk about was wearing your workout clothes. And as you can see, I'm in my sports bra right now because I was able to fit in a quick workout before I put my kids to bed, and um, I'm still wearing it because it's only a short time after getting my kids to bed. So one of my top tips is to wear your workout clothes all day if you have to, especially if you're a stay-at-home mom, as a way to get in gear, literally, for your workout. So if you're wearing your workout clothes, it's less likely that you're going to forget to do your workout during the day. And if you are someone that um, works outside of the home and you are super busy, then sleep in your workout clothes. Because if you just set your alarm for 15 minutes earlier in the morning, you'll already be wearing your workout clothes and then you can just get right down on the floor and do some exercising. Which leads me to my second tip, which is exercise in small increments. So, um, what you should do is not try and set aside one hour a day to exercise. Do one quick little increment in the morning, like a little five or 10 minute increment. So maybe your goal is when you wake up in the morning, you would like to do 50 crunches on the floor. You just get out of bed, lay on the floor and do 50 crunches. Then maybe before lunch, if you're at home, maybe you can hold a plank position right before you start eating your lunch. And then maybe before bedtime, you get down on the floor again and you do as many push-ups as you possibly can. So um, that is just an easy way. You know, maybe that's 15 minutes total of exercise at most in a day, but at least you don't have to set aside a big chunk like a half hour or an hour or 45 minutes or something like that. Um, my next tip is to make active choices throughout the day. So um, let's say you have the option of taking the stairs or um, you know, taking the elevator or the escalator. Go for the stairs, run up them if you possibly can. Do anything you can to increase your activity during the day. If you are at home with your kids, chase them, chase them around the yard, chase them around the house. Do anything where you know, you're know you getting your blood pumping, getting your heart pumping. Run around, do it, you know, and just play with the kids. Don't say, well, I don't have the energy to do that. Just make yourself do it. It all counts as exercise, every step matters. Um, what else? Have family challenges. You know, play a game with the kids like, hmm, which of us can jump the furthest? Which of us can run in place for the longest? Which of us can jump the highest? The kids will love it and you will get your exercise in too. Another thing to do is just um, make activity part of your family life. So you can go for a family walk. You could go for a family bike ride. You can go for a little hike. When you do things as a family, you know, you often just forget you're exercising because you're chatting and having fun and having a great experience together. And not to mention that you're also being a great role model for your um, for your kids. Um, what else? If you are if you have a little baby, you know, if you're playing with the baby on the floor, how about doing some crunches and popping up to do peekaboo with the baby? I did that a lot when my son was little. Crunches, you know, pop right up. The baby's there. They'll be giggling, and you're doing your crunches at the same time. 
Um, so my last tip, and this is very quick and to the point, is to um, try doing some free workouts online. You'll find lots of workouts online um, via YouTube. And also there's um, something called Beachbody On Demand where you can actually get 30 days of free access to several hundred Beachbody workout programs. So those are programs like T25 and 21 Day Fix um, and Insanity and things like that. So I'm gonna try and turn this around. Let's see. I think I just lost my internet connection. Okay, if you go to my blog, which is www.ithoughtinewmama.com, which is of the same name as my Periscope handle, you will see that there is a button on the right, and it says, Join Team Beachbody Club Stream Workouts Online. If you click that button, it will take you to a screen where you fill out your information and you get 30 days free access. Um, you do put in your credit card information, but I will be happy to alert you before your 30 days is up. And then um, you will not get charged at all, but you'll get to check out tons of exercise programs for your 30 days. So that is an easy way to try different workouts from home before you actually pay for something or commit to it. So that is the deal. Um, please share this. I love helping busy moms, especially fit a little me time and health and fitness into their day. Thank you so much for joining me and I will see you on Periscope soon. Bye-bye.